Hello guys and gals, welcome to the Voluta Tattoo digital YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about what happens after you download the Tattoo Release Forms app from the App Store for the first time. There are a few things you're going to have to do to set it up initially. So, open up the app, tap to begin, and it's going to require you to enter in some basic information before you hand it to your first client. So click the TRF settings tab and enter the default passcode, which is 1234. This takes you straight to the screen where you're going to enter your studio information, beginning with the name of the studio. Below that, you'll click to add an artist and click add new artist. Remember, this is creating a legal document, so be certain to type in the first and last names of your artists with the proper spelling. Continue until you've listed all the artists in your studio and then click Done. Next, you'll click to assign a studio logo. In the future, we plan to put a camera feature right here so you can just take a photo if you need to, but for now, I'll choose the crop I already made of our business card. Now you'll begin entering the rest of the information for your studio. This information is not required to start using the app. However, your state might wish for you to have studio, physical address, phone number, and website on your release forms. Voluta Tattoo Digital is not responsible for knowing all of your state's codes. The next step is going to be setting your passwords. At this point, you can reset the administrator passcode if you like. I'm just keeping it at 1234. And you can set up a different passcode for artists. If you're someone who owns a shop and you don't want the knuckleheads who work for you to get into the settings and buy a bunch of forms or change a bunch of the legal settings, you can choose a different password for the artist that will allow them to move the entire way through the form and take their notes, but they can't get into any of these internal settings. The next step is to link a cloud service. This is your cloud service, not our cloud service, so you can choose between Google Drive, Dropbox or SkyDrive and use whichever cloud service you'd like. For this demonstration, I'm going to choose Google Drive. All Gmail addresses come with Google Drive and 15 free gigabytes of storage, which is equivalent to 15,000 release forms. If you don't have a Gmail address, you can set one up in about two minutes for free. So I tapped link Google Drive in the TRF settings and this window popped up asking me to enter my Gmail address and password. Now it's going to ask me to allow tattoo release forms to access my Google Drive and I'll click allow. And it'll take me back to the tattoo release form setting page automatically. Please note that at this point nothing will appear in your Google Drive until you've made your first release form. The next section deals with options for exporting your database, which is a feature that comes with the unlimited package. We'll cover that later, since at this point this is the initial setup and you don't have a database yet. Next, you have the option to edit the legal clauses that your clients have to initial, also known as the legalese. Different states require different things. We've done a lot of research and put a lot of the most common protective clauses in here, but if your state asks for something else, you can easily add your own. At this point, I'm going to decide that I don't like or need this clause. You tap it, see now that it has a check mark by it, and I'll tap remove selected. Click yes, and it's gone. However, my state does require me to enter a specific thing, so I'm going to click Add New Clause and type in my own. It's so easy to do that you can customize it to a specific session even. For example, if you know you're going to be tattooing a minor, you can add a clause in here for that specifically before you have your client sign it. Now I'll click Done, and as you can see, it's dropped my new clause right in at the bottom. If you come to realize that someone's been messing with your legal clauses at any point, you can just click Restore to Default, and it goes right back to how it started. Now I'll click Save. It's going to confirm with me that I'm really done. I'll click OK, and it's back to the Home Settings page. Just click Save and Verify, and you're ready to hand it to your first client.